yes, first let me get you details as uh, Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar has responded to a UN official's comment on Indian elections affirming that India does not need United Nations validation for free and fair elections. EAM S. J. Shankar has emphasized that people in India guarantee electoral integrity dismissing the United Nations concerns as unnecessary interference. Let's listen in to those reactions. How do you perceive the political unrest in India just before the national election with the arrest of Delhi's chief minister and the freezing of the opposition Congress party's bank accounts? The right groups describe the situation as a crackdown on opposition reaching a crisis point ahead of the national election. Well, we very much hope that in India and that in any country that is having uh, elections that everyone's rights are uh, protected, including political and civil rights, and everyone is able to vote in an atmosphere um, that is free and fair. It is the United Nations lecturing India on holding free and fair elections. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar dismissing the remarks of UN on polls in India, saying we do not need a lecture from the UN on holding free and fair polls. In an external affairs minister, Dr. S. J. Shankar responding to those comments made on Indian elections by a UN official. Moving on, former Chief Minister Kumar Swami criticized Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shiv Kumar alleging misuse of power in soliciting funds from builders. Kumar Swami further accused Shiv Kumar of facilitating the release of water to Tamil Nadu and issuing transfer orders, asserting that Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shiv Kumar cannot rest unless he accumulates 50 crore rupees on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a big allegation coming in from D.K. Shiv Kumar ahead of the polls as uh, he has gone on to allege and criticize Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shiv Kumar where uh, he said that uh, he has been misusing his power and misusing his chair. He is soliciting funds from builders, not just that, he's also gone on to add that D.K. Shiv Kumar is facilitating the release of water to Tamil Nadu and issuing transfer orders asserting that uh, he collects at least 50 crore rupees each day and that is how he is uh, misusing his posi position being the Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka. Listen in. Paper Penukudi, Kumar no one Mukimatri Marbutri, Nano and Sala Mukimatri Madi, Nanago paper Penukudi in the Keradala, a paper of Penu Yaw Kupia Martare, David Yochina Madi, Tamil Nadi Nir Budeke, Ile Wargavane transfer, Alela Bengalur Lakatar, La Dodor Katara Papa, Businessman Guru, Avrige, Chadrik Nurpai, Chadrik Nurpai collection. Diusi kaiyat kote duru parde idre nitya mandar allaur. Inta dik paperu peno kote rane won. Nana Ramnagar thala jille dente kelik bayis thine me. Inta vikti kade ne waashirwa da mandar. Coming across to Prajpal, who is joining us live on the broadcast. Uh, Prajpal, these are big allegations. Uh, what is the truth behind what is being said? Has D K Shiv Kumar reacted yet? What more can you tell us? Uh, no, Suesh, uh, as uh, far as D.K. Shukumar is concerned, he's yet to go ahead and react on this uh, particular issue as uh, well because uh, there are three main allegations which are being made uh, by H.D. Kumaraswamy here. First and foremost, uh, that water is being released by the Karnataka government to please its uh, ally partner, the India ally partner, DMK. And uh, secondly, they're issuing fresh transfer orders. Why he stated that is uh, because of the fact that uh, two KAS officers and one IPS officer has been transferred in the last 48 hours in the state of Karnataka. 
Lanka. But uh, that has been done with the permission of the election commission. So why is he going ahead and speaking about uh, the transfer issue? It's something that uh, needs to be uh, spoken about by and large. And also, let's not forget uh, this uh, transfer saga, which happened in the home department uh, f around five months ago, which had caused a massive embarrassment as well, because first transfer orders were issued and later it was recalled as well. And uh, it was alleged uh, that uh, uh, kickbacks uh, were asked for these transfers too. And on the basis of that, the government of Karnataka cancelled all these transfers in the home department. Now, we are also looking uh, that uh, he's stating uh, that uh, builders are being extorted uh, for uh, uh, rupees of 100 rupees per square feet as well. So yes, if you look at any of the commercial establishments as well as the commercial buildings which are being built by the builders in the state of Karnataka, especially in Bengaluru city, the land value in itself is so high. So how can these builders be paying 100 rupees per square feet is a sort of question which uh, HD Kumaraswamy is stating. But at the same point of time, he's also alleging uh, that uh, this is uh, something uh, which uh, the government has now and done again and has extorted to go on and run to. And he's also indirectly hinting uh, that uh, there is is also cash crunch uh, in the government and also to fund these elections. Uh, the Congress government has uh, now resorted to Hafta collecting bribes and issuing transfer orders and also to please its uh, Indian Alliance partners, the DMK, are releasing water to Tamil Nadu. So three massive charges. Whether the KPCC president will react to it or will he choose to remain silent is something that needs to be seen as of now.